Hello everybody. First of all, I'm really sorry for not publishing videos uh, for a long period of time and I'll try to be committed to publishing videos regularly. Second, which is uh, what this uh, video is all about. Basically, if you look at my GitHub account here, you'll find like it's really basic. You know, it's like the normal stuff, right? And if you look at other accounts, and for example, if we go over here and go over, for example, this one and navigate to the account itself, you'll find this section, which represents a lot of different stuff. How we can do this, um, uh, you know, and here, if you look at, this is the first thing that you uh, will see when you navigate to the account. And then when you go over like underneath here you'll find like the normal stuff right how we can do this we can do this uh, by creating um, uh, a new repository with the same uh, username uh, uh, of your github account so basically if you go sorry not here um, come on if we go and we go over here and we type in the same username, we can just create it and create a, a, a readme file and then we have to update the readme file. Of course, uh, you can do it, uh, um, you can make all these stuff, uh, you know, by using HTML and uh, Markdown, but uh, you know like you can do it manually but in this video i will share tools uh, that will help you generate these kind of stuff right and the first one is this one and uh, i have already uh, you have to type in like uh, all the details and you the skills and then you know uh, you have to fill out the data here all right and then basically you have to generate a readme file here and then this is the markdown you can download it you can uh, copy it of course of course you can preview and then you can see all the details here right so basic knowledge of html and uh, markdown will help you to uh, modify uh, you know the output right and you have to, you will be able to customize it the way that you want it right the other one is this one and i see it it's more like you know uh you know there are it's it's a very basic one if you go over the sections here and here and here and here it's a very basic one and then this is the output or of course you can uh, update the data you can add fields you can do whatever right this is another one here and those are the things that you basically can uh, do with this website it's very neat and clean uh, as well and in the top here if you generate it here's the output and the other uh, one is this one and um, you have to type in your github username and then you have to go with the steps and at the end you will have something like like this for example at the end something like this or something like this right and you have to create a new repository with the same username and add the readme file and then uh, copy and paste it over there and then you can customize it um, if you want to right and for me I will have to do this because I haven't done this yet and uh, I think it's 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 the time for me to update my GitHub uh, profile as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.